In today's video, I'll be talking about the different types of cryptocurrency. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Um, I'll be discussing the different types of cryptocurrency as well as um, tokens and ICOs and a bit about what they are. So um, getting into it, um, this spreadsheet here was made by a friend of mine. Uh, it's, it's really good and thorough. They've, they've evaluated the pros and cons and any extra notes on all, not all cryptocurrencies, but your main ones. So it gives you a good overview of how they differ from each cryptocurrency and if they're all the same or not. So at the top here we've got Bitcoin, um, it's a digital payment system obviously, the first cryptocurrency. Uh, some of its pros, it's widely used, it's the oldest, well, most well known, decentralized. Some of the cons, it does have a slow transaction time and high transaction fees. Now this is not SegWit ready, this SegWit is a part of the BIP48 program it's taking place at the moment, um, August 1st. There's a soft fork, I believe, coming for Bitcoin, which means it's getting an upgrade and will most likely drop in price. However, um, this will improve the scalability issues that they're facing. Now, it's very similar to Litecoin. People say Litecoin is basically the little brother of Bitcoin. Um, I'll get to that later and talk about what the advantages are of Litecoin. Um, yeah, so this column here I've um, highlighted is basically the categories of each cryptocurrency. So this will allow you to determine how they differ or if they're all currencies or not. Um, so Bitcoin can basically be bought everywhere. Like I said, the latest news is the BIP48 program. So moving on to Ethereum, Ethereum is also decentralized. But it's not just a currency, it's actually more of a platform um, that involves programmable money, smart contracts, um, and these tokens that I'll be talking about as well. Uh, it's got a very good community. Founders Vitalik Buterin, who is um, one of the co-founders of Bitcoin, who left early on and decided to um, found his own, his own cryptocurrency, and it's become very successful. Number two on the coin market cap. Um, very, very good things for Ethereum in the future for sure. Uh, the only couple downsides there is is it did have a really high inflation rate. It does have quite a large block size. Uh, it's similar to Waves and Ant shares, which I'll talk about later. It can be bought on Coinbase. Um, and it's based on a proof of work system. So yeah, that needs a bit of research to um, know what that really is. But anyway, moving on to Ripple. Now, Ripple is Ripple's technically run by the banks. Um, yeah, it's supplied by banks as liquidity across cross-border transactions. Now, Ripple has had some big spikes in the past, so there's definitely money to be made there. It's pretty instant transaction time. Um, it's got good... Defense against DOS attacks. Um, yeah, some pretty good advantages there. But because it is backed by the banks, it technically does bring a lot of hate to it. So not a, not a lot of fans of Ripple, although it is very successful. It can be bought on all these exchanges. Um, it is a payment type, but it's also a network as well as it is run by the banks. Um, moving on to Litecoin, yeah, like I said, uh, little little brother of Bitcoin, and it's recently had a big boom, and I think um, it's it's going to go really well because of how much faster it is than Bitcoin, how many more transactions it can handle. It's already SegWit ready. The only downside is the weak marketing, so you know it it doesn't have near as much exposure as Bitcoin, and it, it's going to take a while to get up to that popularity level. Moving on to NEM, which is similar to Stellar Dash and Ripple, um, uses a proof of importance algorithm. That's recognised by Japanese banks. It's very scalable and pretty low transaction fee. Personally, I've never never gotten into NEM. Uh, just 
hasn't really stood out to me too much. You can't mine it. There's no private transactions. Just, yeah, not really a fan. Moving on to Ethereum Classic. Now, Ethereum Classic, a lot of people say this is a dud because it was the original Ethereum blockchain, but it was pr pretty much went downhill um, when Ethereum overtook and a lot of people say it only exists today because it has the name Ethereum in the name, but it lost a lot of millions of dollars and yeah, it's just not as strong of a community, but um, still not bad, still a strong little project. Moving on to Dash, Dash, not a bad one. It's a payment and network and a currency, so it's similar to Stellar Lumens, NAM and Ripple. Um, pretty much instantaneous transaction time, low fees. Um, the core team roadmaps though, it's a bit unsure what's going on there. Um, but yeah, it's basically a digital cash, Dash. That's how the name came about. Moving on to Stratus. Now Stratus have a really good project going on. They haven't really taken off too well yet. But um, there's definitely some good things coming for Stratus in the future. Um, it's similar to Ethereum, Lisk and Antshares, it's a platform. Um, it, it is proving to be promising, so it might be a good buy and hold there. Moving on to Monero, this is a privacy based coin. Now, I haven't been a fan of Monero. It's untraceable payments and unlinkable transactions. And it's used a lot on the dark web as well, you know, so yeah, not, not the most uh, professional coin out there, I suppose. Uh, there's no mobile wallet for it, which isn't really ideal. You know, a lot of people use mobile wallets, which I'll talk about in later videos. But yeah, it's basically just another currency. Uh, Zcash, permissionless cryptocurrency. So again, just another currency. Um, it's mined a lot. It's one of the most mineable coins, which is good, but again, untraceable payments, unlinkable transactions. It never really stood out for me, but it has made some good progress in the past few months. Bitcoin. Now, this one's been a bit wild. Um, it's made some alright progress. Progress. It's pretty solid crypto, but it's nothing really making it stand out. Um, it's got free payments which is awesome you know no fees and that but it's untraceable and it just hasn't really boomed it's a good it's it is a payment method though uh, waves waves took off big time oops sorry about that recently and um, allows for trading on a decentralized exchange so it's it's a decentralized platform uh, it's friendly it's fast transactions it's straightforward yeah, I think this one has a lot of potential as well. It's Russian based as well. Stellar Lumens, this one, never really a big fan of it. Uh, it's similar to Ripple. Uh, same sort of technology, you know, backed by the banks, instant payments, customizable payments. There's no mining available though. Dogecoin. Now, a lot of people laugh at Doge because it is based on the Doge internet meme. Um, but it is easy to send payments, it's been around for a while and it's it's still doing pretty strong but it, like I said it's not really taken seriously and it doesn't have much of a unique feature so yeah, I wouldn't really put all my money in that basket. Now Gollum, Gollum is a really interesting one. Gollum is actually uh, an Ethereum token which I'll get to later. Now these guys are awesome, they actually offer um, computing power so you, you pay them money to use their computing power from your own home. It's, it's a really interesting project. It's really unique. And although there's no mining and no, no demos yet, I think it has good potential in the future as a computing network. Moving on to SciCoin. Now, SciCoin is decentralized and it's similar to Gollum, but instead of renting out computing power, you're actually renting out your storage. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, you get rewarded for renting out your computer storage. Files are all split across the network and encrypted, so it's nice and secure. The only downside is the low adoption and it doesn't really utilize blockchain, but I think, yeah, definitely good potential in this one. 
bitch has, um, yeah, never really, never really, um, particular fancy for me. You know, technology is unique, but the adoption rates are really low, and um, although it's got fast transaction times and smart coins are involved, um, yeah, the interest just isn't really there. Their main developer did leave to work for Steam, and yeah, they're really lacking in the marketing. Augur. Augur is an awesome one as well, similar to Cycoin and um, Golem, fully decentralized. Um, one of the most popular Ethereum tokens. Now it allows you to forecast events and be rewarded for predicting um, the correct outcomes, which is another unique, unique project. Um, the only downside, yeah, not much activity, not too much exposure yet, and they're still only in the betas. I think good, good potential. Uh, Genosis, pretty similar to Augur. Customizable predictions, um, Ethereum-based token, and there's a few apps built in so far, but you never know. Uh, Steam. Steam's a social media platform, um, which is awesome because it's actually a cryptocurrency at the same time. Uh, they have uh, things such as Steam Power as well. You know, I'll get into a video on Steam later and I'll show you guys my Steam profile as well. Moving on to Ant Chairs. This one burned really big recently. Um, I think it could be very interesting because they're deeming it the Chinese version of Ethereum, but it does have unique features, which means the, the potential for growth isn't, you know, it's massive. Um, the Chinese market is very big in um, cryptocurrency, and it's, yeah, it's doing all right, apart from lack of marketing, and US haven't really taken it on board because they are a big part of the Ethereum community as well. Uh, lastly, oh no, not lastly, we've got Expanse. Expanse is sort of unknown. Um, it's a fork of Ethereum, never really taken my fancy, but it does have an active development team, and I think they are doing some good things. Um, Pivx, now they got fast transaction times, they can handle quite good transactions. Um, Good privacy and all that. Good privacy-based coin. Uh, they had a name change from Dnet. Um, but yeah, not not a real big fan. And lastly, Vericoin. Um, now Vericoin, yeah, fast transactions, low fees. It's a currency and a commodity as well. It's a unique um, idea because transactions are much faster than Bitcoin. They have dual blockchains, strong value storage. You know, yeah, I think it's a good dual protocol coin. You know, it's it's got two. That dual blockchain technology is pretty unique, and I think they may have some good potential in the future. Anyway, that wraps up that small list. Now, I'll just bring you over the token market real quick. Um, just wanted to show you like all the different tokens that are on the market as well now. Some of these have come out only really recently. I don't know all of them personally. I know Wager. Um, that's going to be like a sports bet token. So that that one could go really well because the betting world is you know increasing. Hence the name Wager. D Corp. That's an Ethereum token there. Status. That just opened up and I think it's already sold out. Um, status is a big one. Another Ethereum token there, and um, as you can see, there's plenty more. Also known as ICOs, which is an initial coin offering. So yeah, if you hear that term, and that's what they are, they're a tad different to actual cryptocurrencies themselves. But gee, some of them are worth a million dollars in one day. <laughs> um, this is the top 50 Ethereum tokens website. Um, shows the top 50 tokens in the last 90 days so it gives you a really good idea of what what you should invest in versus probably what you shouldn't um, personally I'm not a big investor in tokens although I do have some positions in Golem and Augur I did think about getting on status but I'm just gonna wait a little bit I think I uh, got some other good ones here like economy Genosis but as for down here, 
you know, Veritasium I've heard some things, um, Decolp as I said, but yeah, I think you want to really stick with these couple at the top if you are looking into that. Um, then we'll finish up the video on CoinMarketCap. Yeah, I just I want to emphasize this website a lot because um, you can find pretty much you know, every cryptocurrency on here and even some of the tokens like Golem and um, etc. So it's a good idea to see what they're worth, how they're moving, and how everything's trending. Anyway, I hope you got something out of this video and um, yeah, give us a like and share it around. I'm in love with the cocoa.